What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alan. Alan again, help you gain. Have a good weekend, everyone. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin, how to open orders. And in my yesterday's video, I share with you two options, and which one is more accurate with the current market trend. So if you want to know more about the trend of the Bitcoin today, I will do Bitcoin and also Ethereum price prediction and technological analysis. Share my trading plan with you. So if you don't want to miss any chance to win big, do subscribe to the Code Infinite and turn on the notification bell to get the latest crypto trading strategies. Let's get started. Let's look at the daily chart and have a review about the trend for the past few days. We see that most of the trends are in the form of sideways and upwards. If you're long, it's basically easier to make more money, while shorting makes you little profit because several short orders trigger stop loss. And now Bitcoin rises to a previous high, and Bitcoin cannot continue to break out because it closed a structure of a doji, which is very similar to the previous high. And after it closed doji, the price begins to fall further. I did not want to expand my short position because the short term is still rising. There's no more signal support for short selling. So I think that the Bitcoin is more likely to shift at the top, and after a slight downward test, it will continue to rise. And once 24k to a7 is effectively broken, there will be a vacant area about the BPVR chart. And the price range will be around 24k to 28k. The rise after the breakthrough will be rapid. So I'm starting to gradually change my strategies, and I will consider short-term long orders for effective breakthroughs. Let's look at the four-hour time frame again, and this is very important. The higher and lower points of Bitcoin are obviously rising, and the recent resistance has also been effectively broken through. And although there is a rapid decline, the next rise, as you see, has completely engulfed the decline. It is basically determined that there is no very strong trend in the short term, so the short selling plan on Twitter has been cancelled. I will also share with you the idea of my shorting here, and only by understanding the idea of trading will you lose less in this market. So do stick around to the end. At the one hour level, we can see that the signal of a false breakout and the Bitcoin breaks through the consolidation box and the overall volume begins to shrink. So I made this short order after breaking through the box here, and finally, after the stock market opened, the Bitcoin continued to rise. So once it returned to it, the short order should be stopped. Therefore, Bitcoin is still moving sideways. So if there is a breakthrough to go long, I think it should happen in the next week. So here is a short term in long, and the risk must be set with a stop loss here. And you should wait for patiently a high to be effectively broken through, along with a higher turnover rate. You can only go long after these conditions are established. Otherwise, if the decline is deeper in the weekend. Then we may see that it will be very unlikely to go long in a safer place after the correction. And I will post the relevant strategies on Twitter. If you are interested, in, you can search Coinfinity seventy seven and follow us. And so this is a technical analysis of the Bitcoin. If you see this helpful, please give us a like and subscribe. We will share more about trading skills. And then let's have an Ethereum price prediction. Let's look at the daily chart first. Similarly, a doji was closed yesterday, and it finally closed above the key price of seventeen hundred. And let's zoom in and see that Ethereum is near a strong resistance level. This is a bottom of two-year bull market. The bottom is more like a backtest pattern after breaking down. Both Ethereum and Bitcoin are in the hamstring of bearish downtrends, weekly and monthly. And moreover, the rise of Ethereum is pretty huge. The uptrend is limited in size, so Ethereum is more of a wait and see period. Of course, the short term rise is very strong. The chance of continuing to rise in the future is still more than sixty percent. If you also plan to go long after breaking through, it is best to have short term and small positions, which can help you avoid some risks. If you go short, the volume and price will rise. It is very difficult to make big profit when you go short. 
we finally see the weekly chart of the Bitcoin and Ethereum. If this is a green candle, it's more likely to rise. Okay, the, the above is my trading plan and Bitcoin Ethereum analysis. My opinions are for references only and not serve as investment advice. Crypto trading is very high risk. Please be careful. I'm Alan. Coinfinite is a channel of crypto trading education. If you like my video and things helpful for you to trade, please give us a like, share it, and turn on the notification bell. Make sure that you subscribe Coinfinite. We will bring you a live broadcast if we hit a thousand subs. Alan again, help you gain. See you in the next video.